What is good? <clears throat> what is going on, boys and girls? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be basically going through my personal top 10 players in ZA. I mean, I haven't done this in probably like around about a year, and that video banged, and you guys really enjoyed it. So I thought I'm gonna bring another one of these. But without further ado, I really want to waste any of the time. Hit the like button, all that good stuff, and please use code Racking My Out of Trouble. It really helped me a lot. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the video. Okay, I just want to start off in saying that uh, ZA is significantly dropped in skill it's weird i don't know a lot of players that were really good quit and this top 10 list is very different from my other top 10 list that i made probably a year ago or something like that so yeah we're gonna get into it uh first of all not everybody's good on this list it's just based on placements to be honest with you so yeah that'll be taking into our first player smeg like i said i actually don't think he's good i think it's just he's placed so he kind of has to be here his most recent placements are Fourth in AV trios, second in medal state, solos, and fourth in ACGL trios. He also is 100% into bestiality. Oh, f a whore. Uh, that's bestiality. Shut up, bitch. I don't care. I just want my horse. Oh, gee. Uh, Post a lot about his what dog. What the dog doing? I definitely think that him and his dog have a thing going on. Jokes aside, he does deserve to be on this list. So moving into it, we're going to go to our number nine spot. Moving into our number nine spot, we have the take. Uh, as you can see, this list has really changed. Like, if I said the, these two names a year ago, you guys would have been like, are you off your fucking head? Anyways, he's a controller player with the worst aim possible you know he's a little bit of a bot but hey we move on we move on we move on he's plays quite a lot in solo tournaments and these solo tournaments consist of two medal state wins which is really good and also making money in the 50k ink solo tournament i personally think uh, he has some really good potential for the future he's really good already and i think he's just gonna keep improving you know i think he just needs to drop a little bit of a bot can that he's worth but without further ado, we're going to move into our next spot. Moving into our eighth spot, unfortunately, I have to put this player here. It is Bojo. So, bro went to NA uh, on zero ping for three months. Found actually a decent team, you know, trio, whatever the case is. And didn't place once. Um, didn't place once. Anyways, his recent placements that Neymar has carried him to is two second places in the AV trios and one first place in the AV duos. I show my face in a case so you know it's me Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me to be honest with you, the only reason why he's here is he's actually a decent IGL, I'm not gonna lie. I have to give it to him there. Moving into our seventh spot, we have Tim. Um, Tim is only good because his shotgun is virtually a sniper. Um, he hits max damage every single shot, and he has zero brain and needs an IGL to carry him. That's where Storm comes in, but Storm also doesn't really have the biggest brain. Anyways, he also got banned for a few months uh, playing duos and solos, uh, which is really cool. But uh, his recent placements are as follows. Third in Victory Series doors and first in AV Trios. Hold on, Mr. Timbat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Moving into our sixth position, it is going to be Crispy. Anyways, like I was saying, everybody is Chris, and so I'm kind of forced to put him on this position of the list because he has placed. You know, it kind of hurts my soul. But anyways, his recent placements are first in AV Trios, third in AV Doors, second in KO 2022 Punishers Cup. Not too bad, not too bad. To this day, I still actually don't know what input he plays on. We do not care. We have now made it to the halfway point of the video. I would really appreciate if you hit the like button. If you don't do that, I will be slapping your first point child. So yeah, yeah, just just hit the like button and subscribe. You know the vibe. And comment down below banana. I'm a donut. Because I like bananas in the world. Anyways, uh, hmm. coming back to the list, and now we're moving into our fifth position, and it's going to be Gloves. Life must be very difficult for Gloves. I mean, he's walking around looking like a pedophile with that moustache and carrying a, like a zero brain controller player. I mean, it's it's really tough. I'm joking, Ace, I love you. Anyway, Gloves' recent placements are second in the Victory Series duos, third in the Romike Duo Cup, and first in ACGL Mythic Royale. Glub started getting unwashed, uh, he still plays RP 24-7, but he started getting unwashed and proved himself, and I think he deserves to be on this list. If you don't agree, uh, go argue with your fucking wall. We're moving into our fourth position now, and now we're going to get to rejects. You already know what I'm going to say. 
<laughs> Soft gamer. His recent placements are two second places in AV trios, first in ACGR Mythic Royale event, and third in Metal State solos. Rijik has been on top of his game for a really long time, and I definitely think he deserves his top four spot. You know, top five was always going to be on the cards for Rijik. <laughs> He's starting to get a little bit washed though, so he needs to stop playing with Jay. Anyways, we're now going to be moving into our third position, and it's going to be Neymar. A lot of the fanboys will probably. Neymar, why is he not in first place? Um, he's not in first place because. He's washed, he's getting rolled or spawned every single time against yours truly. I'm also like one of the only players that will drop a teammate for worse teammates and then to get outplaced by the teammate he dropped. Hmm? Anyways, his recent placements are two second places in the AV trios, first in ACGL Vox Cup and first in EPS Choc Cup Finals. All jokes aside, I don't think Neymar is currently at his best, but of course he is still one of the best players in ZA, and he's always going to be one of the best players in ZA as long as he doesn't quit. Moving into our second position now, we have Reepsy. Reepsy is turning 30 this year and is currently still playing Fortnite. It's a really big shame that nothing really worked out for him because he went bankrupt after losing so much money gambling. He's also grown a huge addiction to smoking. Reepsy's recent placements are First in AV Trio Cup, first in Namlan, and first in Metal State Solos. Even though Reepsy has the worst mechs in ZA, very subpar aim, no one in ZA studies the zones like Reepsy. Anyways, before we get into our first place position, we gotta, we gotta give some honorable mentions. The first honorable mention we're going to have is Ace. He's a brainless controller player that's been carrying gloves, I'm not gonna lie. Been doing a little bit of the carrying, but yeah, I would've put him in top 10, um, but a lot of people would just say, I'm biased, you put it in your frenzy. Anyways, moving on, we have Jenny. He is the 70 ping player that is playing ZA 20s. Nevertheless, he's still doing well in uh, team game modes, and that's what puts him on the honorable mention. The next honorable mention, I have Keaton and Storm. I'm putting them in the same category because both applies. They're both very Wash, but they can still place because of their 10 inch. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Another honorable mention will be Psycho. Impressive when you're doing so well playing on a toaster. His PC is really bad, but I still roll him every single time I fight him, so it's very weird. Moving on to the last two honorable mentions, it's going to be myself. You know, I'm the second best player in Fortnite ZA history. Um, unfortunately, like, I fall short to the person that is the best in ZA history, and that is going to be Glucky. Glucky is no doubt the best player in ZA history, and no matter where he is in the world, he can always still be at the top of the ZA rankings. But all jokes aside, we're going to get in the first position now. So your first position is going to be... Travis. Travis gets dropped all the time for being a golem, but he still somehow outplaces the people he drops. His recent placements are first in AV trios, second in AV duos, and of course, winning the biggest ZA tournament that is currently around, School Cup. Just to top it off, I just want to say, you know, like, it is crazy how Neymar and Travis have been around literally since chapter one placing and literally being at the top of the leaderboard. I mean, these two are literally the best in the issue, like no jokes. If you guys do want me to make a list of the most underrated players or even the most overrated players in the day, please do let me know down in the comments down below. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.